Good morning friends. In this video, we will discuss an SOP in income tax issued by the National Faceless Assessment Center, NFEC in short. In the matter of various procedures to be followed in the case of faceless assessments, this has been a matter of disputes and conflict between the department and the assessees and this SOP would uh, address some of these issues like best judgment orders being passed without giving a adequate hearing opportunity to the assessees, show cause notices not taking cognizance of written replies, adjournments not being given etc. However, this SOP comes with uh, two caveats. First, it is strictly for departmental use. And therefore, even in case of non-compliance with the SOP, the SSEs may not be able to invoke this in a court of law. And second, which goes without saying, that in case there is a conflict between the SOP and the statute, the statute should prevail. This SOP is into five parts. The first four parts defines the various functions and roles of assessments units, technical review units, verification units, review units. The last part lays down various formats like format of show cause notices, orders, etc. This SOP lays down that the first questionnaire under 142 subsection 1 should be on specific matters in case of set aside matters or reopened matters. It should be as exhaustive as possible so that multiple questionnaires do not go and are not served on the assessees. It should take care and use all the internal and external information like information available on ROC, MCA website, GST website, etc. And it should not ask for that information like income tax returns, form 26 AS, etc. which is already with the department. After the first questionnaire is replied to possibly one more questionnaire may go and uh, it is in principle mentioned that multiple questionnaires should be registered. Adjournments are a big issue in faceless assessments and this SOP makes it clear that in case adjournments are sought for at least 7 days adjour adjournments subject to of course limitation of time and time barring cases should be given. Even it has been mentioned that sua moto adjournments should be given by the department to abide by adequately the principles of uh, natural justice. The points raised in the show cause notice should be very elaborately discussed and there should be due application of mind while mentioning the and discussing the points raised in the show cause notice. In case personal hearing is sought for by the assessees, then within two to three days of the request, the personal hearing through video conferencing facility should be granted to the assessees in case the video conferencing facility is not available with the assessee in his own premises then he may come to the income tax department, various regional centers or other premises to have a personal hearing through video conferencing with the assessment unit. In case the digital footprint of a third person is uh, not available or in any other case if it is deemed fit, a physical verification can be conducted by the verification unit. The assessment unit as well as verification unit can enquire, verify, examine the books 
as well as witness etc so roles and functions of the assessment verification technical units as well as review units have been clearly defined even in case the assessee does not reply to a questionnaire or notice then three modes of communication has to be made to the assessee first through physical letters at the registered address of the assessee second through sms on the registered mobile number and third by email correspondences on the email ids all the email ids of the registered assessee the show cause notice should have a list of dates where notices have been sent where replies have been received a thread by discussion on the various issues and the grounds taken by the assessees on each and every ground and a final conclusion as to why the demand is being confirmed so no more vague show cause notices or assessment orders an income and loss determination proposal with the essential increments of the assessment order should be passed would be reviewed by the review units thereafter a draft assessment order should be passed before fin finally passing the final assessment order and the final assessment order should be a thoroughly speaking order so that it is reflected adequately that there is a clear application of mind while passing the assessment order so friends as we have discussed various issues have been adequately dealt with in this 55 page sop first the questionnaire is uh, exhaustive now no multiple questionnaires adjournments of 7 days minimum should be given even in case the ssc does not reply to a questionnaire or show cause physical letters smss emails should be made to the ssc so that they do have an adequate opportunity to reply to the show cause notice or the orders the orders should be speaking orders with list of dates the replies and the notices and the grounds taken on various issues by the ssc and the assessment orders should be such that uh, it is demonstrated that there is an application of mind while passing the adjournment the final assessment orders thank you very much for watching do like share this uh, video for maximum knowledge dissemination and uh, stay tuned for further updates on income tax gst customs dgft and various other matters thank you very much